Welcome to the Club Runner video tutorial series. In this video, we'll find out about managing your homepage content. We'll learn how to change the homepage layout and also take a quick look at widgets and learn how to use them to build your homepage. Finally, we'll look at publishing your homepage content. Once you finish this video, be sure to check out part 2 in which we'll take a closer look at homepage content widgets. These two videos together cover website content. For more about design, refer to our website designer overview video. Remember that you'll need at least editor access rights in order to place and edit content on your website. We've already looked at the banner, footer, and homepage menu, and now we come to the main course. Your homepage provides the lion's share of information about your organization to the visitors. Your banner and footer can remain fairly static, but your homepage content must be regularly refreshed if you want to draw visitors to your site. As you know from previous videos, you need to be logged into your homepage in order to access the website designer. Once you're logged in, click on Website, and then Website Designer. This brings us to the Website Design Interface. Once you're here, you'll see a Content section in the middle of the page. To change your web page content, click the Edit Content button you'll find there. We are now on the Home Page Designer. This may look a little intimidating at first, but once you get acquainted with the basic elements of the interface, you'll find it easygoing. In this example, we're using a two-column layout. What we see on the screen is a sort of roadmap of the final page, which gives us a general idea of the layout and arrangement. On the left, we have information that will appear on the left side of the home page, such as a list of club officers. In the main section of the page are all the primary pieces of content, such as the home page stories. Now let's have a look at these elements as they appear on a live site. You can see the information on the left and the news in the middle. This should give you an idea of how the widget layout on a page designer screen lines up with the live website you wish to produce. Now let's go back to the page designer. The page we looked at was a demonstration of the two column template. You can choose to present your web content in a different way by choosing a different template. You can access the content templates by clicking on this blue button at the top right. This launches a pop-up window that contains a number of different template options. Each of these options fundamentally changes the way your website looks. Let's test drive this template here. Immediately, all the information we've placed on the page has changed in placement. We can look at the effects of this change by doing a page preview. Click on the blue page preview button at the top right of the page to do so. This launches a visual mock-up of your website, giving a sneak peek at it before we go live. Note that none of the links are functional in this preview. Now, as you know, we were using a two-column template, and then we switched to one column. We seem to have lost all the information in the column we removed. It's important to pay attention when selecting a template to ensure you don't lose any of the information you want displayed. But don't worry too much. That information and layout is retained in the system. Just go back by clicking Go Back. Then choose the template you were using previously, and you'll find it's all back in place. Of course, you can also simply include the missing information on the page once again by using the widgets, which are the building blocks of your web page. Widgets allow you to choose exactly which content appears on your website and where. If you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see some orange tabs above a number of light blue boxes. This is where we find the widgets, which are the fundamental elements of your web page. Widget is a generic term we use for a bit of self-contained code that displays content on your site. Widgets are used to build your site. Each one displays specific information and links, such as a list of events, or meeting information, or your sponsors, or more. You can even create your own custom widgets. Widgets are grouped under these orange tabs, each according to their function. For example, the Essentials tab displays those widgets that are of particular importance to your organization, while the Events tab displays event-related widgets, such as the upcoming speakers or mini-calendar. Of special significance are custom widgets, which are sorted under these two tabs. These are the widgets you build yourself in order to suit your own needs. They can contain freeform text and images that you enter yourself. We'll deal with widgets and custom widgets in depth in another video. For now, we'll just place a few example widgets as a demonstration. So, how do we use these widgets? It's really quite simple. Select a widget you want, click on it, and drag it to wherever you'd like it to appear in the homepage layout. Let's take the Speakers widget here under Events. Simply drag the widget to the appropriate place in the design area. To move the widget to another location, you can drag and drop it. Now let's add a bit of content to our site. 
First, we'll place a President's Greeting widget here in the main section. This will be one of the most visible elements of our page. It's also important for site visitors to be able to contact your organization. Another common thing bringing visitors to your site might be the need to quickly check for information such as your address and meeting times. We can provide that information with the Meeting Information widget. And of course, we always need to make some space for our sponsors. These are people who have chosen to advertise on our website, so it's essential we give them a good, visible spot. I'll place the website sponsor right here. Once you've completed your changes to the website, you can preview the entire page by clicking on the Page Preview button. If you find you need to make changes, click on Go Back to return to the Page Designer. Otherwise, you can simply click on the Publish button to make your changes go live. Once you click Publish, you'll see a text message appear confirming your publication. Note that it still may take a few minutes before you see any changes online. Thank you for joining me today to learn about homepage content. Check out our other tutorial videos for more ways to enhance your club learning experience. And be sure to watch part 2 of this homepage content video for more specific details about the use and placement of widgets. The keyboard has 90 keys on 6 rows of 15 each. It is divided into 3 sections. The lowercase letters are at the left. Uppercase in similar arrangement at the right. At the center, punctuation marks, numbers, and small caps.